Mr. Speaker, the names that have been presented, the seven names, I have no problem with them at all. However, as the majority leader said and the minority leader said, these names are presented under Article 127, under Article 248, and under Article 250. Mr. Speaker, specifically under Article uh, 127, the Speaker is the permanent chair of the Parliamentary Service Commission. Article 248 lists the Parliamentary Service Commission as one of the commissions duly guided by Article 250. But Mr. Speaker, Article 250, sub-Article 6A, is very specific. That unless ex officio, no person can serve in the commission for more than one term. It is a fixed term of six years. I have heard the minority leader say that the Parliamentary Service Commission is exempt from the provisions of the Constitution. I am unaware of such a provision, and I would be, like to be guided. As far as I understand it, Mr. Speaker, two of the seven members appear to have already served. Now, I'm raising this not because I object to them, but for posterity, we have to be very clear. Are we guided by Article 256A or we are not? If we are, then are we not in danger of doing an act that is unconstitutional by amending Article 256A and allowing a member to essentially serve for more than one term? I seek your directions, Mr. Speaker. But not apply to Article 250 and how they are supposed to be discharged. It's for the same caucus to come back, the same Jubilee parliamentary group and orange parliamentary group sitting with reasons can write and bring a motion for their removal. So these are, that, that, that is the leeway of the Parliamentary Service Commission. More fundamentally, when a member of parliament serves for five years, that is the end of the five years. When he's re-elected, he is serving a fresh new term. It's different from other public and state officers. So, Mr. Speaker, if you look at even the process in how we arrived at these names this afternoon, is totally different from the way Judicial Service Commission, Teacher Service Commission, Public Service Commission, SRC, how they arrived those names to this house. The roadmap is different. It's like day and night. Different. It's not President Uhuru Kenyatta who brought these nominees to this house. Am I right? Did the speaker read a message? The, the speaker didn't read a message from the executive? So I think, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Otiende is good that he has raised it, and I think it's within his right. You have answered. I think we need to move. And uh, and dispose of this matter, deal with the matter. I'm sure they have issues to deal with. Then we move. Then next time, I think this is a matter that uh, the, the Legal Affairs Committee already can bring a petition. Three nominees who have been appointed to the Judicial Service Commission. Yesterday they were being vetted. The president has the powers to appoint. And the same thing, the same question I want to ask you, Honorable uh, uh, Mulo, and I think these are some of the things the legal food for thought you need to go home with. Uh, no, no. What, ab what about Jury Service Commission? The Chief Justice is the Chief Justice and the President of the Supreme Court. He sits in the Jury Service Commission. The Court of Appeal have similar representation the way we have representation in PSC. The same for the High Court, the same for the Magistrates. The only three people who come uh, through the Presidency uh, through a, a selection panel is the three nominees who represent non-lawyers. They represent the public interest in the JSC. So I think we are up to a different. I think, Mr. Speaker, we need to move. And uh, next time, I'm sure uh, when Honorable Otieno wins his seat in 2022, he might be eligible through the Orange Party to be a member of the PSC.
But, but let me let just for the information of the house, honourable members, for the information of the house, there is there are two other members of the commission appointed by Parliament who are non members. And even as we speak, if you, those of you can recall, those two persons, one female, one male, were nominated, and the formula used was the minority side produced one name, which was female. And she is still a commissioner. The majority side produced one name, which was male. I still believe it's male. <laughs> but the said male, the said male resigned to go and contest and successively became a senator. As he now, as we speak, is a member of the Senate in the 12th Parliament. So indeed, actually, the leader of the majority party, you may be failing uh, the House by not also submitting a name to, re to replace that male. And, th and those ones, again, none about the end. Again, this, this, is a, this is one issue that needs to be addressed. How long? It, the, this constitution does not say, because they are non members, for them, how long do they, how many years do they serve? Five or six? Again, th these are gray areas that um, the, you, the me members of the Committee of Experts, did not. Uh, uh, provide specifically. Yeah, it is true. So indeed, the real majority is supposed to bring another name. Yes, because the the, the records are there that uh, the minor, the minority minority party submitted one name, and uh, the lady is still a commissioner. She continues to serve, but it's a matter that perhaps will uh, be will be contested by, I think, the public spirit and. Uh, Lawyers, like uh, no, no, that the other the other guy who is a very public spirit and is not a lawyer, but he seems to enjoy the status of a lawyer in the Kenyan courts today. The member for Waraka, you wanted to say one small thing on this. Let's let let. I think, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the mood uh, of the house is that uh, you put the question, <laughs> but even as you put the question. Uh, just to add to my voice, Mr. Speaker, sir, you have ruled on this issue before. I remember several communications from the chair. And you know, law is interesting. That is why this constitution that uh, was done by my friend uh, uh, Otienda Molo and others, they allowed all of us Kenyans to interpret, including uh, courts of law and anybody else who is able to read, and, uh, and Okiyo Mutata also uh, interprets these things. Uh, the only provision which, Mr. Speaker, sir, you have referred to in the past that uh, has not gone in the Hansard today is uh, Article 248, uh, which is the application of the, this chapter, the Commission, the 15th chapter. And it begins with good words, but the, most, the key words there, except to the extent that this Constitution provides otherwise. Extent to which the Constitution applies otherwise. So, um, in, um, in the 15 commissions, it's a single term of six years and not eligible for reappointment. But 127 provides otherwise because there is subsection 4, which provides a term of five years. A question can be, whether we are talking about only the term and not the qualification of eligibility. But the way in which uh, subsection uh, 6 has been worded, the question of a single term is conjoined with uh, the qualification of eligibility. So if, uh, therefore, subsection 4 talks about five term, we just have to live with it, in my view, that uh, it is the extent to which this constitution um, provides otherwise. Thank you. Very well. 
Well, honor members, honor members, now we, now, what? Now, honor members, um, you know, you know, you know, as, honor members, you know, usually when we are, when we are dealing with them, um, Commissioners who, who, may, who, are, who, are, who are to serve in other commissions, uh, you know, I would, I would, have, I would have found it um, interesting that you are asking me to put the question. Is it because now these ones are your own? What? Is it the feeling of the? Is it? Uh, What? No, no, honor members, honor, honor members, just a minute, just a minute. You know, honor members, I think this, some of these uh, terms which uh, the honorable Tienda Molo and his team put in the new constitution are quite exciting. Now, everybody, diversity, regional balance, and at all. Now, gender, I don't know, age, youth, so many. But for me, honor members, to decide whether we move in one way or the other. Because I don't know, here, put the question, we want, we want to debate. Now, there are, some, there, there are some, like the member of Oendebez who want debate and the member of Okikuyu. Honor members, can I find out uh, what is the mood of the house? And the only method that is available to us is I will put the question that I put the question. Not even for the mover to reply. Because because there has, been, there has been no debate. Honor members, therefore, let me find out whether that is the mood of the House. A former member of this uh, House used to, to refer to this as, and obviously the member of Sunnah East, I'm, I'm allowed to interchange the languages, Swahili and English. A former member of this House used to, to say it, now, honor members, I will put the question. Which is that the speaker do put the question on the motion. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. As many as of the contra opinion say nay? Yes. Obviously, the eyes have it. Unless, unless uh, somebody is claiming for a division. <laughs> Honourable members, the, there was only one member who rose in his place claiming for a division, the member for Homerby Town. So he did not meet the threshold of 30 members. So, Honourable members, I will put the question. And as, as we have established, we have, we, we, we have done this always. We have established. I'll put the question on each name. All of them? Yes. On, on our members? On the, on the, on the. Honor members, order members, order members, order members, order members, order me honor members, remember. I don't have to keep reminding you the, the, about the, the famous words of Speaker Lento on the 4th of January, 1642. Yeah? That, that, yeah that 
have no eyes to see, no ears to hear, no tongue to speak, except as directed by this house whose servant I am. <laughs>